Greetings and welcome back to Railway Empire. I'm Catherine of Sky, and uh, first thing I wanted to answer a couple of questions. Somebody asked me um, if there is a free play mode. Yes, there is. There's um, all of these different areas, and you can play them in various eras uh, here. And also there's sandbox mode, which is here. Same kind of map situation. Um, and we have the campaign and, of course, the scenarios, which we're going to be playing one of those today. So I've had a look at this map. I mean, I haven't actually started any of the levels yet. I've been looking around and it seems like the very earliest date here is 1830. And that makes complete sense in the history of railroading. And I really like to play these kinds of games in chronological order because you get a definite sense of the sort of evolution of um, locomotives and cars and um, and speed and horsepower and all that kind of stuff and how they, the railways changed um, America and other countries as well. Uh, so we're going to start in uh, 1830 in the East. Um, what I do not know is do these things kind of follow each other or do we have to start a new scenario when we get to the end of this or how does that work? But we're going to figure it out. So the first one is called Metropolis. The prosperous industrial centers on the East Coast are poorly connected to the inland. Farmers, businessmen, and travelers are lamenting the long, arduous, and above all, unsafe roads and ship canals. These means of transport are the shackles on an emergent nation's hunger to grow. But a development from England is taking its first crucial steps. The steam engine. Oh yes. Okay, so now we actually... No, well, we can't choose that many things. AI level normal, very hard, hard. We're just going to play normal, I think. Um, I've never played any of these scenarios, so I have no idea what to expect. Um, but we're going to use realistic uh, network, and I like the normal pause mode as well. I'm a big fan of this. So let's continue. Isn't my uniform fabulous? Oh. I designed it myself. Hey, it's not a good we idea can change to keep me waiting. Our, um, our people here. So I'm going to look for I did an evaluation of the contenders and prices. There's no way to halt the progress. It doesn't matter what you Two do. Prices. Just I always tell the truth. Even Are you a man or a mouse? This is no time to hesitate. I think I want track construction costs. You should. The rest are. The business. How dare you make me wait? I certainly Maybe. won't disappoint you. Care to take. Strong leadership. Man, it's hard to choose. They're all kind of. They're, the they're pretty well victory. balanced, I have to say. Let's just choose track construction costs and see how we like that. It's going to really benefit us in the early game. I think um, because that's when our biggest amount of track layout is going to happen. The railroad is a magnificent invention that will revolutionize all of our What's lives. This? Journeys that used to take days now only take hours. That's why I'm convinced that the railroad can also help to better connect our industrial centers on the East Coast with the settlements inland. Mm -hmm. Take care of that. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we got to do. Population of 80,000 in New York. 100 loads of clothing to New York. 20 planes. 20 planes. <laughs> trains. Okay, 100 loads of alcohol to New York. Uh, wow, we got to get a population of 250,000 in New York. Um, buy one of your competitors' companies and five express trains at the same time. I'm not quite sure what that means. Uh, but we, it's clear we should start in New York. Where is New York? Up here? There it is. They've given us a station. How nice. Um, wow, and it's a tiny one. It's only a regular size station. So let's see. Oopsies, nuts. Sorry, let me get my correct mouse playing with the wrong one here. Oopsies, there we go. Okay, sorry about that. Um, upgrade the station first thing. Yep. And then let's look where we want to take stuff. New York right now has a population, I think, of 60,000. Uh, we need to connect it probably to Albany, we could also connect it to this lovely group of stuff here. Ooh, does this mean they have furniture making? Eek, that could be nice. Um, like to go to Baltimore. I'm thinking about having a double tracked line for passengers to go to Baltimore and Washington or passengers and freight from those locations and then possibly making a warehouse situation for these guys and then have that also on a double track to get some trains flowing in that way. Um, yeah, that seems okay to me. 
for now. Um, all right, let's go. Let's get first. Oh my goodness. What do we, let's see what they need. Let's see what New York wants. Oopsies. Get out of this mode, please. There we go. New York, what do you need? You need stuff. No cattle, no cotton, no cheese, but you are going to want veggies and fruits and things. Okay. That's great. Um, what we can also do is probably buy one of these things, but not right now. I don't want to spend the money right now on this. Uh, we will later though. Right. So shortest trip is going to be to Albany. Yeah, we'll just do that. I think I might, I'm really tempted to possibly take lines to each one, to each of these places, the wood and the, um, the whatchamacallit stuff. You know what? We might be able to even make a large train station here. No, right. It doesn't fit. Not quite. Okay. Let's just turn this guy around to be like this, this one, this, tr this, this track, not track these cliffs. <laughs> oh my goodness. These cliffs. I guess this is okay. It's going to have to be okay. There we go. All right. So we're going to connect those. First of all, Allen logging to New York. purchase and then take this one. Oh, wow. That's expensive. That is very, very expensive. Is there any way to make that cheaper? Lit. Whoa. You know what? 14% incline is not actually that bad uh, for a single train and it's going uphill with no cars. So I think that'll be actually okay. We're going to be just fine with that. Um, one thing I do want to keep these guys together like this for a bit um, and put down a thing there. Okay. That's fine. So we're going to set up the lines here and go to Allen logging. I want to have them come when there's eight cars of material and no less. All right. Um, freight only go locomotive. Oh boy. we got a grasshopper, right? Okay. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> we're, we don't need any of these. We don't have access to any of those. Right? So that's fine. Now new line, go from Fruitland to New York. Fruitland. Sorry about that. <laughs> it seems appropriate. All uh, right. Uh, we don't have any uh, refrigerator cars. So we're just gonna have to do this and that'll be just fine. All right, let me make, now these lines are going to be double tracked. Uh, wait, even how far does that go? No, we want it to go kind of like this. Okay. And call that good. I'm going to go up to Albany. Good. Now I want to build the crossover thingies. So we're going to have these trains go to either station, either platform of the station. I should amend. Good. Now I'm going to put down two different supply towers. Can I put one here? I really wanted to put one so it would cover both of those, but looks like that's not going to be workable. So I'll just put it up here. That's fine. And then over here, some, somebody keeps asking me, uh, or several people ask me, why do I put the supply towers near the stations? Um, I do that because uh, the trains need time to actually get up to speed. There's an acceleration thing. And if I put the train in the middle of the line, that's like telling it to crash into a brick wall. It's like stops completely in the middle of the road um, and, and has to get up acceleration again. And that's really difficult for some of the locomotives. So therefore I want to put them as close to the stations as possible um, so that they can be at their slowest point, either arriving or um, or departing. So that's the, the reasoning behind that. And I hope that's fairly clear. Um, but yeah, if you want to do it your own way, a different way, that's just fine too. You know, everybody plays the game in their own way, uh, which is great. You know, it's awesome to play, um, to play games all together. It's just fun. All right, good. So this train line is going to go to Albany. 
right, how does this connect? Oh my God, there's a lovely little, it looks like a pass here almost. So I'm just looking at the orientation of this area so that I can build a proper train station here. So I wanna build it like this, very much like this. There we go, Albany, we can do this. I'm gonna connect to you this way, good. I'm gonna have to go around this logging place. 66,000, that is so cheap. Yes, I'll take it. I will buy what you're selling, it's good stuff. Boom. Okay, excellent. So we have the, um, the sanding station there. Let's get uh, the supply tower, another one over here. But again, I'm going to allow these uh, trains to use both both station, both platforms here. Okay. Go. So then, um, Albany, can we build anything? We can. Right. I want to figure out what we can build. There is a cotton farm here, or there is uh, corn. Either of those I think would be manageable. So what can we build? Can we build cotton or corn? We could have a weaving factory. Um, do these guys demand any cloth? They do, I think. So if we can get cloth there, that would that would be better for us. So let's build a weaving factory right here. Okay. We're going to have to connect that up to that area in just a second. Okay, let's finish building this line though. I like to connect, I like to build the industries really as early as possible because they often get snatched up by competitors like instantly. So we don't want that to happen. Um, all right, so let's build a line then. Set up a rail line from Albany to New York. And I think we're going to have the first one do express goods only. This is going to be a passenger one. And let's just use track one and three. Okay. And add our locomotive. Good. Then do another one. Albany to New York. Um, and then we'll go with two and four. This one's going to be freight only. Good. Boom. I would like to look at my research though. Oh, we don't have any, we probably don't have enough. I want to get, uh, wow, those are really far in the future, aren't they? We should get the John Bull. That one should be significantly faster. Um, all right. So we have stuff going on now. I really do need to get this, um, cotton right down here. What I could do is get passengers from Syracuse. What's in Syracuse? There's nothing in Syracuse right now. I think I'm just going to build a straight line there. We're going to pretend that it's going to have the ability to be a, um, like a main line, but we're just going to have it get cotton because I don't want to invest in Syracuse right now. Let's just move that there, right. Okay, 7% is actually not too bad. Okay, I think that this will work as a main line plus uh, the farm line. So let's just buy this. We're just gonna put a single uh, train on it for now from Taylor Farm to Albany. All right, this is gonna be freight only. And I really want to do a minimum of eight cars to go. Uh, and at Albany, use lane one, please. Uh, okay, say go, add locomotive, boom. Right, so I'm going to put the supply tower over here instead of on the other side. Oh, also, if you're wondering, uh, the stations do not have supply towers automatically in there. Uh, it's kind of funky, but that's okay. It happens. Um, the reason, and that's the reason you, you have to put them, I like to put them on both ends of a station, um, because if you leave a train uh, running and it has no sanding tower, it will run out of uh, supplies. And I think it says parts missing or something strange like that. Oh, I needed uh, this plus maintenance building. There we go. Okay, so we're already making some money, which is great. Um, 
Let's see how we want to do this. I want to have one line going to Baltimore, but I'm wondering if I should construct the warehouse stuff to go to New York first. I think that's probably the most sensible thing, uh, to be honest. I think that's probably the best thing. So I want to make a warehouse, which is going to be in the middle of nowhere because it has to connect to all of these things. We have four products here. Uh, I don't know if we're going to use the cattle. Do these guys, any of these want cattle? Cheese and dresses, no. Right. Okay, so we have three products that need to go here. So I'm going to put it in the middle. And then I might have a flyover to have this passenger line to Baltimore. I know that sounds really weird, but it's gonna happen so and I don't think we're really gonna need no I don't want that one I want a small one that's why it was looking weird okay we'll do like this and Lopez farm it's fine like that all right, and this cattle farm, eh. Don't really need to connect that, I don't think. This is fine over here, this grain farm. Now the question is, do we wanna connect these things to Baltimore? We have no tasks for that. So we're gonna just leave it as it is. I don't think it's necessary at all, so. Oh boy. Yow, all right, so we're gonna have to pay this. It's fine, oopsies. I'm going to leave one space for that cattle ranch in case we ever need to go back there. Though, thinking it might just, might just, um, well, we'll see. I'm just going to like glue these together for like a sanding tower type length. 96, boy. Really weird. Okay, that's fine, I think. Let's see if we can get our supply tower in here. Nope. No, darn it. Um, is I think it's because this one is messed up. Let me I I'll delete that one. That's fine. Let's just get these parallel. Yes, fine. Parallel. Okay, supply tower. Still doesn't want to go here. Um, see if this one will work a little bit. If I go a little bit further. Hello. Aha, there we go. Really does not want to be too close, does it? All right, that's fine though. It, it has space issues, that's all right. Wow, jeez. Okay, so if we bring this out a little bit. This is just bad, okay. Um, all right, we're gonna bring this in because this is just like, why? Why game, why you do this? And I really am not concerned at all about the length of this line. I just want it to be cheap, of course. But um, 41, okay, that's fine. This is a little bit weird. Okay, 42, nice little curve here. Um, the thing is, it's such a short distance that it's gonna easily go back into there. So this is not an issue for us at all. All right, Lopez, or warehouse, let's, um, gonna ask for this we're gonna ask for let's see this guy actually you know what 20 is enough of each we really don't want more than 20 uh, I don't know how that affects us if like we have to pay for all this produce or how that works exactly but let's get ourselves some new trains you go from there to there 
And I want you to go like, with a minimum of four cars. Go. Okay. Go from there to there. Minimum of four. There you go. And now we're gonna go from Collins Estate to Warehouse. To the warehouse. Um, minimum of four cars. There you go. And boom. And now we're going to connect. I think we'll go this way for Baltimore above. And then we'll take these tracks below. And I think that'll be fine. We'll connect the one that is not connected first. Because that seems very reasonable to me to do. And then this one can be here. Now the question is, in this situation, this track is not very long. But it could still support more than two trains. It could probably support four trains, um, if we're being fair here. Um, what I could do, uh, well, I could even branch off and have these tracks go to the middle things, and then it could have two, two stations per each train. Hmm, that's a lot of tracks, though. Oh my gosh, and I have no money now. Boy, that's not great. Not great. Um, you know, we're just going to let them load as they load and it'll be fine. Go. Okay. And I think it's okay to use only two stations because that will allow the other stations to deliver stuff. And I think that's better. Okay. That's just fine over here. And then this one, we also want to cross our tracks briefly. Okay. Good. Hello. Thank you. Great. Uh, and we don't need anything else there. Now the warehouse is going to have to have a maintenance place, but we can't afford it right now. So let's start to get a new um, line from the warehouse to New York. In the warehouse, we're going to start station three. New York goes station three. Great. And you're going to be freight only. And I think I also want to add to have a minimum number of four cars. Okay, go. Locomotive, go. All right, there we go. So we have one train. Let's, um, I'm gonna copy this train. Can I not, why can't I clone the train? Why not? Why not I can clone the train? Maybe I don't have enough money. Ah, that's why I don't have enough money. Okay, so that's okay. Uh, I did forget to put the directional signals on the track. So uh, let's let's just do that. Kind of silly of me. It's like, okay. Sort of forgot about it. There we go. Okay. Put this one right here. Will will not signal anything where the train is because that doesn't work well. It'll get confused. But this way it'll safely go to the station and and then be allowed to proceed onward. Ooh, leaf spring suspension. Yes, I want this. Don't outbid me. Please, please, please. I want. Thank ya. No, I didn't get it. A bit slow. Rat. I have already bid. Yeah, I didn't get enough money. Uh, that's okay though. We're all right. We won't die of this. We'll be fine. We just need a little bit more money, and this train is gonna provide it. I'm gonna look at the grasshopper. It is such a cute train. I, I have actually a model uh, railroad little train that, that is the grasshopper and I love it. It's adorable. And the reason it's called the grasshopper, if you can see it has these pistons going up and down and it looks like grasshopper legs springing about. <laughs> anyway, so that one's going to do its magic here. Um, we're going to stamp this one and then the next one is going to have um, oops, that's not what I wanted. 
go away. This one, the warehouse, we're going to just choose train four or platform four on each of those. All right, very nice. Whoa, look at all that stuff. That's going to be green coming in, I think. Nice. There we go. Okay, we got some research. Profits from mail freight car. Yeah, we'll take the freight boost for sure. Okay, nice. Getting stuff going on here. And New York should be a growing very shortly. So we, we probably need some more passengers. And I think, where's our train to Albany? Hello, train to Albany. We're going to copy this train as soon as we have a little bit of money uh, and make another passenger train or two, possibly. Because it, they have passengers aplenty in New York. Might as well transport them. There we go. Money coming in. Yo. Why can I not clone this train? Why you not work? We have to reopen it. There we go. Okay. Okay, so that's something that um, if we get money during when it could be um, purchased, if, if that icon could light up, that would be awesome. I'm hoping maybe one of the devs might be watching. <laughs> oh my god, look at the adorable! Oh, so cute. Okay, so one of the things about early trains is that, um, whoopsies, oh god, here we go, I was using the wrong mouse button. They used to use uh, coaches, like from horses with, with carriages, those kind of coaches to transport the passengers, because, I mean, there was no other um, kind of thing at the time, so no other accommodation. So that's what they started with, and that's why they look like little coach wagons. It's so cute. Oh, adorable. That looks like way more than eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like 16. Maybe they're doing like a double one for each one. But anyway, it's just very, very cute. What's going on with you? No suitable freight. That doesn't sound good. You know what? I think I forgot to put signals on this darn track. I did. Oh my gosh. Well, that that would uh, would explain why it's not working properly. Just kind of randomly place these guys down so our trains can go where they're going. Okay, I did I did one signal, but that was it. Darn it. Golly gee. I think this is the only line of double track track I have. Uh, it may be time to also look for a loan. Because I'm a big believer in uh, renting money if necessary. Wow, there we go. Cute. Okay. I love, I love that there's like some historical accuracy here. This is just, just beautiful. Lovely. Okay, I'm, I'm excited. I like, I really like early trains. I like the big boy and I like uh, streamliners. Those are my favorite types of trains. All right, you have no suitable freight. What's going on over here? You are being loaded. Okay, but you have no cars. Is this just not making profit or what? Did I? What? I thought I bought... Wait a second, game. Did I not buy? I could have sworn I bought that weaving mill in here. Did I not click it or something? Oh, that's a shame. Dang it. Well, shoot. Okay, well, I'm gonna... Gotta sell this, this little train here because... I mean, I don't want to pay the maintenance costs, and then we'll get credit for it anyway. Oh, that's sad. That's really annoying. Okay, so if when Albany grows, if it grows, yeah, it's not gr actually growing right now. So we'll see. We'll see. How is New York doing? New York is at 50% of stuff. All right, and this freight train also. Um, what I'm going to do is turn this one into a... Um, express goods. Because, you know, what else can you do? That's what we're going to do. Okay, cool. Um, right. What's going on at the warehouse? Do we have enough stuff? We could probably use another train here, possibly. Though we have tr three trains delivering and three trains delivering. 
it's still a little bit ahead. Okay, there's plenty of milk in here. It's looking pretty good, I have to say. Looking really good indeed. Man, I can't believe that cloth factory is not working at all. That makes me so sad. And I wish I could buy these things, but I don't think there's a way to... Can you buy... You can actually buy them from here? This is... It's so weird. Like, you upgrade them here, you buy them here. I wish the UI was a little bit much more, you know, consolidated and stuff. It's like, I didn't even know you could buy this until, like, this very episode. Jeez. Okay, um... You can be extremely satisfied with these quarterly results. Let's see. We could buy it for 572 or start an auction, actually. Let's see what we got. Okay, he's happy with my profit. That's good. We need to deploy five express trains at the same time. I guess the ones I have don't count. All right, well, that's quite a shame. Quite a shame indeed. Well, that's okay. We can we can get past this, though. We're going to go to Baltimore and, um, and build a station there. But I think this is actually a good stopping point. A couple of people have asked me for shorter episodes. Um, so we'll have shorter episodes, but more of them. So anyway, it's been about half an hour. So I think this is a good stopping place. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.